let's see the problem they have given the problem as in solve d is cube minus 6 d square plus 11 d minus 6 of 5 is equals to e to the power of minus 2 x plus e to the power of minus 3 x by seeing this we can identify the rules which whether this problem will come to the which rule first rule second rule third rule or fourth rule where e to the power of minus 2 x plus e to the power of minus 3 x is there so this will go to the first rule First, we will find the auxiliary equation for writing, for writing the complementary function. The auxiliary equation, auxiliary equation, m cube minus six m square plus eleven m minus six is equals to zero. For finding the roots, we will go to the synthesis method. The coefficient of m cube is 1, then minus 6, 11, minus 6, where I have written the coefficients of the given equations. The, co the coefficient of m cube as in 1, then square as in minus uh, 6, the m as in 11, the constant term as in minus 6. m is equals to 1, then the first term will be as in 0, 1, 1 into 1 as in 1 minus 5 minus 5 into 1 minus 5 11 minus 5 will give as in 6 6 into 1 as in plus 6 so this term has become as in 0 so now i can write this as in m minus 1 this m is equals to 1 we can we should write as in m minus 1 and this as in m square minus 5 m plus 6 is equals to 0 m minus 1 it's equals to 0 or m square minus 5 m plus 6 is equals to 0 m is equals to 1 m square minus 2 m minus 3 m plus 6 is equals to 0 where I can write this minus 5 is equals to as in minus 2m minus 3m. For taking the common factors m of m minus 2 then minus 3 of m minus 2 it's equals to 0. m minus 2 m minus 3 it's equals to 0. m minus 2 is equals to 0 again m minus 3 is equals to 0 m is equals to 2 m is equals to 3 where i got the m values as in 1 2 and 3 the roots are real and they are different therefore the roots therefore the roots are real and different so i will get my cf complementary function where cf stands for complementary function y suffix c is equals to c1 e to the power of m1x plus c2 e to the power of m2x plus c3 e to the power of m3x it's equals to c1 e to the power of x plus c2 e to the power of 2x plus c3 e to the power of 3x so in this way we are going to find the complementary function now we have to find the particular integral for finding the pi of the given rule they have given the first rule where pi formula is in pi is equals to 1 by f of d into x where 1 by f of d is equals to d cube minus 6 d square plus 11 d minus 6 x is equals to e power minus 2 x plus e power minus 3 x now you have to multiply this 1 by f of d to each and every term of the bracket then we are going to have 1 by d cube minus 6 d square plus 11 d minus 6 e to the power of minus 2 x plus 1 by plus 1 by d cube minus 6 d square plus 11 d 
minus 6 e to the power of minus 3x where the value of a is equals to minus 2 and here the value of a is equals to as in minus 3 we have to substitute d is equals to as in here as in minus 2 and here as in minus 3 for this term <coughs> here a is equals to minus 2 by seeing this this value is the a value this value you have to substitute in the d d place and here d is equals to here d is equals to minus 3 1 by minus 2 whole cube minus 6 minus 2 whole square plus 11 minus 2 minus 6 e to the power of minus 2x plus 1 by minus 3 whole cube minus 6 of minus 3 whole square plus 11 of minus 3 minus 6 e to the power of minus e to the power of minus 3x it's equals to 1 by minus 2 whole cube as in minus 8 minus 2 whole square 4 uh, 4 into 6 24 minus 22 minus 6 e to the power of minus 2x plus 1 by minus 27 minus 9 9 into 6 54 minus 33 minus 6 e to the power of minus 3x add them on adding what we are going to have minus 8 minus 22 minus 22 minus 6 we will add this one minus 8 minus 24 minus 22 minus 6 will give you as in minus 60 e to the power of minus 2x plus then all terms as in minus so this will be as in minus 27 minus 54 minus 33 minus 6 will give as in minus 1 by 20 e to the power of minus 3x this is our pi after getting the pi we have to write the general solution where the general solution where the general solution is equals to complementary function plus particular integral y is equals to y sub x c plus y sub x p where y sub x c stands for complementary function y sub x p stands for particular integral where y is equals to where we got the complementary function as in c1 e to the power of x plus c2 e to the power of 2x plus c3 e to the power of 3x then pi pi is equals to minus 1 by 60 e to the power of minus 2x minus 1 by 120 e to the power of minus 3 minus 3x this is the first rule for finding the first rule your x has to be as an in the form of e to the power of ax first we are going to find the complementary function complementary function based on our auxiliary equation first we are going to find the m values based on that m values we are going to write the complementary function which we have already learned how to write the complementary function after writing the complementary function we are going to find the pi then after getting the pi value the combinedly we have to write the general solution where the general solution is equals to complementary function plus particular integral if you are having any doubt please ask me in the comment if you have if you got the procedure clearly like it and subscribe it thank you